Scary. Tonight, fish and game officers believe they've taken care of a coyote they suspect was rabbit. Its first encounter was with a woman and her dog yesterday. Coyote came out and attacked her dog and started stalking her. Um, luckily, some hikers came down the trail and scared the coyote off. And more reports started coming in from there of a coyote with porcupine quills in its muzzle trying to attack. Two young ladies were walking down the yellow trail and a coyote came out and started stalking them. They used a stick to keep it off them, a short stick, and they just kind of backed down the trail with this coyote kind of, you know, two feet away basically, you know, trying to get to them. Lieutenant Brad Morse searched this area, but there was no sign of the animal. Another report came in today. A conservation officer heading back to Mount Major to check out the situation ended up coming face to face with the animal. When he came up on the trail, he saw two girls who had a, a black lab with them. Mm -hmm. He warned them about the coyote, and as he was talking to him, it came out onto the trail. As he walked towards the coyote, the coyote charged him, and he was able to dispatch it. The coyote was shot and killed. Hikers say the reports are nerve-wracking, but they come prepared. I never even thought that that would even be an issue here. Definitely have pepper spray in my bag at all times, um, just because you never know what you're going to run into. Now, since that coyote didn't actually bite anyone, it won't be tested for rabies, but fish and game officers do suspect that it was rabid. Live in Alton, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.